Hello everyone, I'm proud to be here again and I could not resist the um, envy to share with you some progress on the node material. So let's jump in. I'm gonna switch to the computer. Hey, okay, so remember my scene here. Um, I wanted to show you some cool progress with it. So we still have this guy here and we're gonna edit the node material we, we saw last time and just bring in the new material. So we did um, Pretty good progress on the UI. I'm pretty proud of it. It's still not done, but um, it's coming along. Uh, and here we're gonna uh, focus on the pixel on the fragment shader. So the fragment shader here is uh, done by multiplying two textures and then multiplying by color. I'm gonna remove that color for now. Uh, and what I want to do is actually bring in a light. We're gonna bring a light um, object here. And this light object will take care of the lightning for us. What the, it needs, it needs a world position and the world normal and the camera position. So we're gonna um, already get the world position from here. We are already using it to just compute the vertex output. So we see here that there is an error that's expected because the shader is not completed yet. We also need the world normal. So the world normal comes from first the, let's say, move that here. It's gonna need a mesh attribute and we want the normal of that mesh, okay? We then want a transform block that's gonna transform this normal by the world matrix, which is here. And we're gonna then, it's a little bit, it's a big one, so let's move that here. And we're gonna then take that and bring that inside the light again. Good. And then what we want is the camera position. The camera position is what we call a a known value, a value that is already known by the system. So we can come here on my vector three and say, okay, that's a known value and I want the camera position. And let me compute that here. Okay, and now we need to take the output of my texture multiplication. And I, and I took a pretty complicated way here. Um, I took the RGBA output and I multiply everything to get at the very end here a color four. Um, that's a little bit too much. I'm gonna just remove, remove all, all of that and take a, a multiplier block here and instead multiply RGB of both. So I have a color tree and that I can then use to multiply it by the light computation here. So I have the multiplication of my texture multiplied by the diffuse from my light. And then finally, I can put that into my fog block here that's gonna generate the final outcome. So let's test it. I didn't see it, it should work. And yes, it's working. Now we have lightning on our guy here, multiplied by two textures, okay? So that's the power of the node material. I hope you're gonna like it. Thank you.